throughout our video awards competition, we have received over 5,000 entries, recognized more than 75,000 students, and inspired a countless number of professional careers. Nine years ago, on this very stage, our guest speaker received the ITV Award for Best Female Solo Announcer. Since that time, she has gone on to earn her bachelor's degree in telecommunications with a specialization in broadcast journalism from the University of Florida. <laughs> Worked on the Emmy-nominated pregame show, The Football Fever, covered the Cleveland Indians during Major League Baseball's 2016 World Series, and is currently a sports reporter for ABC6, Fox 28, and Columbus, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Winter Haven High School graduate, Mrs. Kaylee Mizell Vargas. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to be here tonight. But before I get started thanking the people uh, that I wanna thank, I just wanna give a shout out to you guys for being here, for all the hard work that you put in this whole year to be at this award ceremony. So can I first start with just you guys giving yourself a round of applause. I'm so honored to be here tonight as the speaker. Um, I wanna thank the ITV staff. I wanna thank you guys for letting me be here. I wanna thank the school board for putting time and energy and money into this program that means so much to so many people. Um, as they mentioned my career, I am a sports reporter and I've done, I think, a decent amount in my career. Um, and I could never have gotten where I am without ITV, without being in Brigham Elementary, in Jewett Academy, in BDTV, in Winter Haven High School, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be where I am in my career if I hadn't heard five crucial lessons that I learned in ITV when I was younger. So I'm gonna talk about some of those lessons tonight. The first of which is never miss a deadline. And I think we can all understand why this lesson is so important, whether you go into journalism or whether you go into a completely different career. Deadlines are important. I'm sure you guys had deadlines for this and you had to meet them. And I'm sure some of you guys might have been up late at night finishing your projects and getting them in so that they could be the best that they could be. It's the same thing in the real world. There's a time that you have to be on air and that time is the deadline. The second thing that I learned throughout ITV is to be adaptable and innovative. Industries are changing, journalism is changing, media is changing, and we have to change with it. We have to continue to be creative, to push bounds, to talk about things that maybe aren't talked about. That's what being innovative means. I'm sure that when you guys were thinking about what projects you should do and the ideas that you can think of, you tried to think, I wanna do something different than any other school, because that's gonna put you a leg ahead. The same thing in your career, the same thing as you move forward in your life. You always have to be innovative and you always have to be adaptable to the ever-changing world, especially with technology. The third thing that I learned as an ITV student that's still applicable today is that it's never as bad as you thought and it's never as good as you remember. So, kind of humble you a little bit. I'm sure that there have been times where you guys have made a mistake on camera or missed a cue. Um, technical difficulties are a real thing, they happen. Um, but it's never as bad as you think it is in the moment. And it's also never as good as you think it is because there's always something that you can learn when you play that video back and you watch it, whether from a technical standpoint or whether something that you personally could have done better if you're an on-air personality, there's always something that you can improve. So continue to do that every single day. Watch your stuff and remember, it's never gonna be as bad as you thought and it's never gonna be as good as you remember. The fifth thing that I learned is, oh, the fourth thing, I'm getting ahead of myself, is to take the time. So take the time to remember that extra battery because that's important. Or to clear your card or to grab the tripod. Take the time to watch your video back just one more time. It's so important to take the time to do the little things right because all those little things add up 
to a really great finished product. And the last thing that I learned is to remember the feeling. To remember the feeling where you are right now. To remember that you guys took all this hard work, so many hours, so many times of storyboarding, so many times of editing and getting it wrong and getting it wrong and then getting it right. Take all of that and remember that feeling. It doesn't matter if you win or lose tonight. It matters how you felt. You felt accomplished whenever you turned that in. That is the feeling that is gonna get you through the rest of your life. So whenever I'm having a tough time in my career, when I'm feeling frustrated or down, I look back and I remember nine years ago when I was on this stage, and I remember that feeling because it's that that's gonna get me through. It's that that's gonna move me forward and to get me through the tough time into the next career success that I'll have. You guys are gonna be so awesome and you're gonna really excel and it's a lot in part because of the programs that you're in. And the school board, I just wanna give a special shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for, for making this happen for these kids, putting the time, energy, and money into this. It means so much to them. No matter what industry they go into, it's going to be important to them. So again, thank you guys so much for having me here. I do wanna give a special shout out to my mentor and my mother, who was my ITV teacher in um, high school, Pam Mizell from Winter Haven. Thank you, Mom, for everything that you've done for me. Thank you, guys, and enjoy the award ceremony.